when you're a threat to the devil, he's going to seek to come after you. If you take a soul from the devil, there's going to be hell to pay. After I did this, I started to hear this man telepathically start to say to me, you have hell to pay. You took those women from me. After this played out, at the side of my bed, I saw this big shadow, and it just said to me, there are rules. We definitely know that the demons play by rules. They play by God's rules. It's not even the devil's rules. He doesn't make them. He didn't make the game. He's a player within it. This place is nasty, it's serious, it's dark. The energy in that house was just way too much and it was actually causing me physical pain. It was actually putting marks on me, which I've never had happen before. So I was just like, I gotta get out of this house. This man that was doing these abortions, he was what we call a demonic puppet. He was being controlled by something very, very negative. I knew I had to come back here. We had to find out more answers and to make sure hell is the home of this evil demonic entity. Did it possess uh, Robert in life? That's for sure. No! What's gonna happen if we come out into the woods? <laughs> what is that? There. You are rebuked, demon. You will leave Sean Austin alone from this point on. And you will go where the good Lord sends you, harming no one along the way. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, amen. <laughs> the rules have changed. If God was willing to take these souls of these women back into heaven, then I'm giving a damn what the rules are of the devil, then I'm breaking the right rules. God does not allow evil to flourish without something good coming from it. So let the wicked perish in the presence of God. Are there certain things that Sean did that pissed that thing off? Oh Whoa. my God. Scream. Oh, oh my God.